Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. Hope everyone's doing well and you're taking care of yourselves. Now, um, I had something I wanted to go over. It's going to be kind of quick, but I found it very interesting because of what it actually implies. Now, before I get into that, obviously, guys, here we are. We're down a bit. Uh, we're down to 21 cents. I think uh, it was just over 28 cents the other day. But either way, I'm not surprised by this at all. I think we could even go a little bit lower. Um, but I do believe also, and this is just you know my gut telling me, I do believe we're going to see a change in direction here very soon. Um, we have very little time remaining in this year, but at the same time, it's enough time to see a turnaround in the price. But again, we'll see. Nobody knows anything at all. So anybody, I don't care if it's a TA junkie out there or whomever, they don't know a damn thing. It's all guesswork. If people get something right, it is absolutely luck. Okay. Now, that being said, all right, so Christine Lagarde here, she's talking about digital currencies. Okay. And in this um, particular interview right here where she was talking about uh, I'm gonna I really don't want to uh, you know I don't want to get any trouble with um, what they're saying but let's see if that yeah it says uh, my personal conviction is that given the developments uh, we are seeing not so much in the Bitcoin segment segment but the stable coins projects okay so someone uh, actually was talking talking about she's speaking about tether but come on tether really that makes no sense at all. No sense at all. All right. So going on, she says, and we only know of one at the moment, but there are others. Okay. So she could very well be talking about Tether right here. Uh, and she goes on to say being explored and underway at the moment. Okay. Going on. We'd better be ahead of the curve if that happens. All right, because there are clearly a de there's there is clearly a demand out there that we have to respond to. Now, what I think, or what I believe could be possible, guys. All right, because look, let's just face it: XRP is going to be used. There's too much movement on XRP right now, right? And what I mean by movement is that there are too many financial institutions going after XRP. Not just the little bit that we are seeing. Guys, this is this is like a, an, an iceberg. All we're seeing is the very tip of what's happening. Everything in the background would blow your mind. I am I would absolutely guarantee it. The things that are happening on the on in a in the space that we cannot see and we don't get any updates for, I would I'd be more than willing to bet anything I have that what's happening there would blow our socks off. All right. Now, what I believe she could very well be insinuating here is that there right now what's being worked on is a stable like a digital dollar. Now, I'm, I'm saying dig digital dollar for the lack of a better uh, term. But I do believe there is a digital currency that is being created right now, which will be pegged to XRP. That I think that could be possible. Because XRP being a bridge currency is great. I mean, that's absolutely great, right? But the problem with that is not everyone is going to have XRP to spend it like a dollar. Now, some of us will. Some people will have XRP like us, those of us who are invested in it now. But I don't I really don't believe the whole world is going to be issued XRP. That's not going to be the currency that will be used amongst uh, the people. OK, but if there is a digital uh, dollar, like I said, for the lack of a better term, that is uh, uh, dis dispersed amongst people, right, to be used on a daily basis, that has a stable uh, value, okay, that would make a lot, that would make 
I mean, perfect sense, in my opinion. Now, I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. It could just be, you know, pretty much barking up a very bare and barren tree. But it seems very plausible to me because I know she's not talking about Tether. So is there something in the background that they're working on? Is there another digital currency that that everyone will use that will be pegged to XRP? Could be possible. I've, I've heard of it talked of before, but at this point, hey, anything is possible in this space. That's what I believe. Um, something else here. I'm seeing a lot of articles here that are saying that they're expecting a big breakout like this of XRP. Okay. Now, we don't know for sure. We have no idea what's about to happen. Nobody does. Nobody has a clue as to what's going to happen. However, considering the time that we're in right now at this moment, the different things that are going, we just had Boris Johnson elected, right? We, uh, we have Trump working, trying to do everything he can to get reelected re 2020. Um, we just had a, a, a huge, um, we just had a huge, uh, injection of cash or we're about to anyway. Uh, so there's, uh, there's just a lot going on now, how that'll all affect, uh, crypto. It's just hard to say. Nobody really knows, um, what's going to happen. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. We are really just along for the ride here and it's going to be interesting to see what happens over the next you know, throughout the, the rest of this year, these last couple weeks that we have, and then going into January, I think it's going to be very interesting to see how this all plays out. Guys, just remember to remain just optimistic yet cautious about how you're, what you're expecting. We could very well not see a damn thing. We could see the price go down of XRP. I personally believe we are, I mean, we're overdue, well overdue for, um, for a change in, for a change in how crypto is, is moving. But again, I mean, there's so much manipulation, so much, so much happening, so many people, uh, kind of moving things in for their own benefit. It's, it's just hard to say, very hard to say. I, there's a lot more that I would like to get into, such as, you know, the, the truth of all of this. I mean, we guys, this all of this was already planned. OK, I don't, I don't want to get too deep into this, but it, it was already planned. This I mean, probably 30 years ago, they they had already had all of this kind of planned out, maybe in a rough sketch. I mean, who knew necessarily how this was exactly going to play out but i i just i don't believe this is all just on a whim in uh you know in this time in the last like five years from what i know the people that really control all of these types of things they don't do anything without very thoroughly planning them well ahead of it actually happening that way they can control the sentiment as it's as it relates to that particular thing i mean even a lot of the things that you're seeing right now guys not a lot everything that you see today that's going on and i'm talking from the president all the way to the pre the the, the i'm sorry the protests the you know so-called protests that are happening all of the different things that are happening guys it's all meant to direct you in what you think and how you react okay so just remember it is completely up to you to make sure that you have the truth of the matter okay our our jobs our jobs is to always have the proper information so we can make the right choices Okay, and that might seem a little ambiguous, but <laughs> I have to make it that way simply because 
you know, the trouble that I've had uh, with my channel in the past. I don't want to start naming and saying anything too much in detail, but all in all, guys, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, uh, really deep. Uh, I, I can say that. So again, just make sure that you are on top of everything, guys. We, cause we are, we are going to see some very, uh, interesting and amazing things over these next few years. I'm talking like explosion in technology, financial situations, um, worlds, the world stage is, is about to change dramatically. And one thing that we haven't had to deal with too much here in America is a lot of hardship, uh, on a wide basis, right? So yeah, we have our poor, we have, you know, people who are having a hard time, but you know, when you go to a different country, such as some of the third world countries, South America, um, Africa, India, it's a different world over there. The, the first world countries essentially use them and allow them to go through all the hardships while we really live in opulence for the most part. But again, that's as far as I'm going to go right there. Uh, just, I, I appreciate all of you, uh, your comments, everything. I know many of you don't very, uh, comment very often, but those of you who do, I appreciate it. Diane, I really appreciate yours. Recomec, I believe. Um, uh, man, I can't think of uh, the, the the majority, but uh, those of you who, like I said, who comment very often, I appreciate it. Uh, those of you who are just now finding my channel, hey, I would appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There's a lot more to come. Also, don't forget to hit that like button as well as the post notification button. That way you'll know when I post it again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.